was here, I think, last year playing Rhodes at the Air Canada Centre, and that was an exciting, great crowd uh, playing against a young Canadian. And, and to play tonight is it's fun for me. You know, obviously, um, expectations are too high with how much I play, but it's, it's good to be back in Canada. And I'm excited to play tonight and tomorrow night. Hopefully, my body stays healthy, and, uh, and I just I just hope the fans enjoy the tennis. Um, you know, these days it's sort of um, I'm not sure how I'm going to play, so I just hope I can I can get up to a decent start and, and play decent. You mentioned you were here to play Milos. Uh, it was maybe a year and a half ago at the Urkana Center. Um, what are your impressions about sort of the development of his career? And uh, you know, he hasn't yet had that big breakthrough at a slam level, although this week he's made the semis in, in Montreal. Do you see him as a guy who's going to be a legitimate threat at, uh, at some point? I think he's a threat already. I think he's got a huge game. Monster serve. He's willing to come in and do some things and get to the net. And it, you know, it is tough to break through. He's up against Djokovic and Murray and Roger and you know, four great players. And it's, it, it takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. But he does have a big game. And he does have a game that could get hot at a major and potentially win one. But um, he's, it's progression. It doesn't happen overnight. I didn't really figure this game out until I was probably 22, 23. So when everything was settled in, I was physically, mentally great. I was knew where I, I stood in the game, and it just takes time. And I know Milos does the right things. He works hard. He wants to he wants to win. He wants to do well. And just gotta be patient. It's not gonna happen overnight. Pete, over here. Mm -hmm. uh, just wondering if you can just quickly talk about the state of tennis in uh, the U.S. right now. John Isner lost this week. He probably did drop out of the top 20. It'll be the first time in 40 years that an American has been in the top 20. Yeah. What's wrong with tennis in the state? Uh, I don't have a great answer for you. Really, people ask me all the time what's wrong with American tennis. I, I don't know why. It's looking a little slim. I know John is. is been struggling a little bit, but he seems to, to win a lot of matches. He can't break through in a major, seems like. Um, Marty's having some issues he's trying to work out, and you know, we're, we're in decent shape, but obviously we want our guys to be ranked number one, or like we, we were in the 90s, but I, I don't know why. I just think the world's gotten a little better. Maybe the U.S., have, we've gotten a little bit complacent in this country. Um, well, in the U.S., we're not in the U.S. at the moment, but... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really, I really don't know why. I just think a lot of these other countries, their, their best athletes are playing tennis. You know, our best athletes are playing other sports other than tennis. I think what happened in the '90s with me and Andre and Jim is, was rare. I mean, it was just a rare time where everything clicked, and now people are wondering where the next, you know, Andre is or Pete or whatever. And it doesn't happen every ten years, you know. And um, it's just it's where we're at, and it's just hopefully we can. Get a crew of young kids coming up that are hungry, that, that, that want to do well. But um, other than that, I mean, I, I'm all over the place, but I, I just don't, I don't have a great answer for you.